all right so you got your acapella and you want to get started first thing that you got to do is figure out the bpm one way you can do that if it's not already labeled where you got the acapella is by first turn off warp and give the acapella a listen so you're listening for a point where the artist says something where it lands on either the one of the bar or the two of the bar or the three and you'll use that as a reference point so let's give it a listen hey plumber hanging on my neck the bracelet matches a set so two points right here where he says neck and set so we'll go over and drag it over bam that's where he says neck so now we know that right here is a reference point so we hit warp now we're going to go here double click and press set 111 here bam so now we can zoom out and we know that this track is higher in the bpms just from listening to it not going off of this so we'll give it a listen and find a point where it sounds like it's a it could be a perfect bar so drag the loop bar press that to loop it and let's give it a listen Back. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. All right, so it sounds like where he says set. Back. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina. Yeah, so where he says set might just be one bar. So let's go ahead and increase the BPM, the master BPM, until this point right here is probably around here or right here. We'll give it a listen at both tries. So let's first turn warp back off bam and now let's go ahead and give it a listen once we increase the bpm to like right there so this is where he says neck this is where he says set and let's see how it sounds neck the bracelet matches the set my brother name is tina deck the bracelet match all right that sounds cool let's just increase it by one bpm just to get this little clip back right here Let's do two. Back. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Deck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Deck. So we have a perfect loop, and now we know that the BPM is somewhere around 136. So going off that, we can hit warp. Press yes, and let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and start fine-tuning it. So we can go over. We know that this is supposed to be on two so we can drag that over and drag this back to three and then we can go in just points where you know that is it's where it's supposed to be at like right here this is kind of off grid we just drag it back on double click the uh, lock it in and there we go now we can play with the metronome to see if it actually sounds correct so Let's go ahead, increase the duration of the loop and see how it sounds. Back, the bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've whack. All right, so that sounds decent. But if you notice, uh, if you listen really closely, you hear that it sounds a little choppy. So one thing that I do is go over here to the audio tab, beats, and sometimes I go between complex and complex pro. And what this does is it enhances the audio to where it doesn't sound as choppy when you expand it. So let me give you a, a, a quick example. Back, the bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. I'll stop all that back and forth over the net. Now take a listen to how it sounds with Complex Pro. Back, the bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. I'll stop all that back and forth over the net. So you can hear the difference. So usually I'll just go with complex pro or sometimes I just go with complex. So it's up to you. It depends on the sample. So we're going to go with complex pro. And now that we have a few points locked in, we can go ahead and lower the BPM to what we desire. So we're going to go out of 80. Back. The bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dow. So now we have a problem because the sample is being stretched so much and it sounds pretty slow. We can either have the BPM go in double time or we can just hit this button, bam. And that's gonna speed everything up to double time. So now it should sound perfect.
back. The bracelet match is a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have. So what that does is basically the BPM right now is 80. It just double times it. So the sample is basically playing at 160 BPM instead of 80. So if you ever come across that problem to where you lower the BPM and your acapella sounds stretched, just go ahead and try to hit this button and it'll increase it by double time. Every time you hit it, it increases it. As you can see, the acapella is getting shorter and shorter. And then once we hit this, it expands it back so yeah just get play around with that see what sounds right and yeah so now that we have the acapella all synced up you'll just go ahead drop work markers all throughout uh the acapella just give it a listen see what needs to be corrected and you know listen with the metronome now that we roughly have the acapella synced up i'll go over and grab some drums and just place them here and i'll listen to the acapella and the drums just to see if, if it syncs up with my flow because your flow if you have some swing in your drums or in your chords or whatever it might not sound perfectly synced up so you know it's always to start off with the metronome and then go off with your drums so let's see how this sounds Back. the place matches a set my brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. The bracelet matches a set. And there we go. So now at this point, I know it sounds good. So I'm just gonna go throughout the whole acapella and sync it up, make sure everything matches up and sounds good. And bam, you got your acapella. So I am gonna show you guys um, how I actually flipped this acapella and yeah if you guys want me to break down this beat just let me know and I'll try to get that out for you guys